What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to build a profile page for our blog with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to build a profile page. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so moving right along with our blog here in Django. In this video, we're going to add a profile page. So we can register, we can log in, we can log out, but we can't update our profile. So if my name changes, if my email address changes, if I want to change my password, can't do that yet. So we need to build this out. So let's head over to our code and let's head over to our members directory. And this is where all of our authentication stuff sort of happens at the moment. So let's look in templates and registration and let's right click and create a new file. And let's save this as edit underscore profile dot HTML. And now we can grab our registration page here. And I'm just going to copy all of this stuff and kind of paste it in. And instead of register, let's say edit profile for the title. And up here, let's go edit profile. And the button will say, uh, like update profile, or something like that, the rest of this can pretty much stay the same. So let's go ahead and save this. So now let's head over to our views.py file inside of our members directory. And we only have this one view right now, right? And it's using our user creation form. And this is what we use to sign up, basically. Now we're going to import another thing up here. So we want to use user change form. So we can create a user now we want to change a user or edit a user but what we're going to use is user change form. And I'm just going to copy this whole class here and paste it in and instead of user register view, let's call this user edit view. And instead of sign up form, we want to use user change form, which we just imported right there. Okay, so where do we want to send this we want to send this to registration slash edit underscore profile, which we just created right here, right. And instead of sending this to login, let's send it to home after we click the button. Now, this will sort of work. And we'll look at that in just a second. But first, let's look at our urls.py file inside of our members directory, right. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this guy. And let's paste this in. And instead of register, let's call this edit underscore profile. And it's not a user register view, it's user edit view. And we also need to import that. So let's add that there. And what do we want to name this guy? Let's name this edit underscore profile. Okay, so go ahead and save this. So let's add this edit profile link to our nav bar. So I'm going to copy this and let's head back over to our the blog directory and our templates, and then our base.html. And this is where our nav bar is, if you remember. So we could just scroll down here and look for the section where the user is authenticated. So we only want this link to show up if the user is logged in. If they're logged in, then they can edit their profile. If they're not logged in, they can't edit a profile. So inside this section, if user is authenticated, we could just look through here, we have logout, is the last thing. So maybe right there, we could put this one and I'm just going to copy this, this one, this link here, paste it in. And instead of sending this to the URL logout, we're going to send it to edit profile. And the link should say edit profile. Okay, so head over to the web browser, make sure the server is running in the terminal, and hit reload. And we see we've now got this edit profile. But there's a little bit of a problem if we click on this, it comes to this edit profile page and the page is empty. And you can see it looks like a mess. It's not formatted at all. We're gonna have to format this later. But there's nothing here. So you've got your username, your first name, your last name, it doesn't know what user we are. So we need to tell it what user we are. So we could do that back in our views.py file. So this is going to be in our members directory views.py file, where we created this class here for this page. And we do this by creating a little function, let's call this get underscore object and we want to pass in self. And here we just want to return self.request.user. We want to send the user 
Now this will pass in the current user and everything will be okay. So we also need to make a change up here where we defined our class. We're not using a create view. We wanna update or we wanna edit this view. We wanna update it. So we need to use the update view. All right, so go ahead and save that. And that looks good. Now we can come back here and hit reload and boom, everything is filled out. So you have John Elder, John at Codemy.com, the date joined, different permissions. Now we can edit all of this stuff like we've edited, edited other forms and we'll probably do that in another video. And you'll notice there's this link for the password because it's not showing the actual password on the page. You have to go to this password form and we haven't created this page yet. So we'll probably do that in another video because it takes a little bit of a effort that's slightly different than this. But you can see this, here's our username, our first name, our last name. So if I want to change my first name to John2, just to see if this worked, we can click update profile. And you can see right here, it says now John2 on my blog post, because my name has been updated to John2, John2 Elder, right? Well, if we wanted to change that back again, we could change it back to regular John, click the update profile button, and now it's back to John right there and anywhere else that we're using the first name. So that's how to create an edit profile. Like I said, this is not formatted great. We can mess around with this form in a similar way that we formatted our other forms, right? Uh, so we'll probably talk about that in another video or you could probably figure it out on your own at this point, hopefully. Uh, but uh, yeah, pretty easy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So they pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.